Welcome to Painting Our Monsters. Today we're going to be looking at the technique of how to make a night sky with a galaxy or a nebula in it. I had a request to do this video, so I'm just honored to help out. So thanks for watching and, and thanks for, for commenting and liking these videos. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just put down some black. I like black on my horizon and up in the corners and then just putting some blue and we're going to fade those all together. Um, this canvas has a little bit of gesso on it uh, that's already been dried, but the first thing I'm trying to do is just get a real solid cone of paint. You can see over here I'm doing the edges, um, and we're just going to come back and blend everything all together. It works well to have a little bit of water on the paintbrush um, just to keep those paints blending together. I really want a complete thick coat of paint on this. I don't want any white showing through. Um, we're going to end up seeing a little bit of this paint in the finished product, but right now, we're just trying to get as much paint as we can on the canvas. Now I'm switching brushes here. This is uh, one of the only uh, single brushes I ever bought, so it's got a nice soft handle. And I'm just blending it together, blending that blue and black, um, trying to just get a real smooth gradient. Um, if you go all the way across the canvas, you don't get any marks of where the paintbrush ends. So that's a, that's a good little tip. Now. Um, that top corner, I like it when the edges of my paintings are black, uh, when these night skies, so I just squirted a little bit of black on there, you know you couldn't quite see it. And I just put that right on the canvas. Doesn't matter if it's too much right now, because we're just loading it up and putting as much paint on the canvas as we can to get a nice, even layer of color. So I'm just going back and forth, trying to maintain this blue in the little bit uh, in, the, in the center of my painting, because that blue is where the galaxy is going to be. So I'm, I'm chosen a sort of a band across the sky, sort of like we see with the Milky Way, but it, it could really be any shape you want. You could do a blob, a couple of different blobs, however you want it. Um, but I just try to get a nice even gradient there. So that's I like the way that that black is, is fading into blue. For this technique, all you're going to need is just a big old brush and then a paper towel and a brush with real stiff bristles. This is an old dried out brush I have. I didn't clean it very well, so the bristles are all stuck together. And I'm just putting some wet paint on there and then pulling it together. If you go closer to the canvas, you get a little more control, or if you go farther away, you get these big spatters of stars. These stars are going to be in our background, so uh, we're not really worried about them looking any particular way we just uh, kind of want to get a nice smattering. Okay, so now I dip my paper towel in white paint and I'm just going to come in and put in blobs. Uh, it's a good idea to rotate the paper towel as you're working so you don't get this repetition of shapes. We want it to feel all different. And if the blob is too white, you could try to use uh, paint mixed with water to get it a little looser or you can just keep coming back over the top of it. You can see here I'm refolding it and now I'm coming in and every time I, I tap that white paint it's just going to kind of diffuse it a little bit and kind of bring it out. And I'm trying to go for, it's supposed to be a cloud, right? It's a distant cloud made of all these little particles. So we're just kind of coming in here and preserving little bits of white, but mixing that white with the blue in the background that was there. With acrylic paints, they do dry pretty quick, so you want to do this pretty quick together, but it's, it's pretty fun to work that way. Um, I wanted a little bit more white, so I just came in through and, and put that in, and then just any spot that you need more white, put in some fresh, and if you need less, then you just work over the top of it, and it'll kind of fade out and blend into the background. And we're just going for these big kind of poofs and tufts of color. And that's kind of our nebula. Those are supposed to represent, right, thousands of stars we're seeing in the distance, uh, super far away. Uh, they're in front of this inky black of the sky. Now I'm taking the same color as the background, so blue in this case, but you could do green or purple or red, and I'm dipping that in the, in the same blue with a paper towel, and now I'm going in the middle of this uh, cluster of stars. I think it works best if you're really careful not to over go over the border. So keep this blue in the middle. Don't don't spill out of the white stars, right? This is like this is like a, a cloud of dust that's blocking the stars so we can't see it. And normally I just tap, but today art is always about experimenting and trying new techniques. And so today I did a little twist with the paper towel as I was working. And I kind of like that. It kind of gives it a more uh, almost makes it look like these clouds is a storm out there in space, right? Once uh, you finish up your your cloud, uh, your galactic dust cloud, you're going to want to come back in and just do a couple more speckles over the top just to make it look like there's stars in there and that kind of creates the illusion that, oh, this thing is all made of stars and that gives us that Milky Way effect.
um, so I'm just coming in and putting a few here. You don't you you do want to focus and make sure that those stay in the the nebula and not the rest of it. All right, now we're on to the last step. Um, that's where you just take the back of a paintbrush, dip it in white, and just put a few big chunky stars wherever you want them. Uh, you could skip this step if you don't like this. My my seven year old tells me this makes it look unrealistic, but um, I like putting in these big stars and just kind of use them to draw the eye and and make it seem like you know maybe these are planets maybe these are the these are the big ones in the sky and, and put them kind of here and there I do think you need some inside your dust cloud and some outside the dust cloud no problem in taking your time and putting them where they go it is good to kind of group them together um, and think about how the stars work in the sky they're they're always you know random doesn't mean equally distant all over the sky it means kind of kind of sometimes clumped and sometimes far apart uh, but that's about all there is to it. So I do hope you all enjoyed this technique, and uh, thanks for joining me today.